Hi, this is Dan Haleva from Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome to uh, week six, the final week in our class. And this week I'm going to demonstrate the ESP polyphonic synth uh, in Logic. Now this is a pretty nice little synthesizer. It's a subtractive synthesizer. It's similar to the one we saw in class. Uh, it has a, a similar features. The class synthesizer was a monophonic synthesizer, and this one is polyphonic. So it has the capability to act on um, you know many notes and voicings as opposed to one. This has a, a number of waveform capabilities on it. These oscillator parameters are simple ones, the uh, triangle, the sawtooth oscillator, and the rectangle or the square. Um, this is a sub-oscillator that will work on one octave. And this one will work on a two octave range. And here's a, uh, a noise generator as well. Um, you can see it's a typical ADSR. And you have your capability for attack, decay, sustain, and release. And you also have an amplification section uh, to overdrive if you want. So. Uh, what we're going to do is I'll demonstrate very simply on a note. So you can hear that note. Uh, it has a bit of a noise in it. So we're going to take the noise down and try to make that real clear. And we could also change the voicing by hitting 8 and it'll uh, change the voicing on the, uh, on the synth. We'll take it up and this will take it up even higher. But let's leave it at 16 uh, for now. And by using some, by tweaking the sawtooth oscillator, we can change the sound of the tone. You can see how the attack is uh, a bit more substantial with the sawtooth oscillator. All the, all the way at the top. And by adjusting the frequency, we can alter the shape of the, uh, the tone. You can hear that cut in and out once that frequency gets established. Over on this side, we have the standard ADSR, the attack decay sustain and release controls. So the attack, since the attack is all the way down, it's going to really uh, get to the maximum volume very quickly. But if we raise that up, we'll notice that the attack uh, gradually allows the sound to come in. Gives us a bit of a different sound to it. The decay is pretty good right there, but if we set the attack down and uh, we'll let it decay quickly, but give it some sustain in the middle, the effect is very similar to having less sustain and more decay. Just a tad bit of a difference. Um, and then the release rate, we could jack that all the way up and you could hear how the release will be very long. Almost like it goes on forever. So this is a, probably a good release rate. Remember when you're looking at your synthesizer, a very simple subtractive synth like this has four common components. It'll have your oscillator section right here. It will have your LFO parameter will allow you to modulate the sound. Uh, you'll have some basic filter parameters that will allow you to adjust the frequency and the cutoff ratio, and then you'll have uh, some envelope parameters as well that you can adjust for your attack, decay, sustain, and release. Your amplification parameters can also adjust the, uh, the, the total volume of the, of the synth. I hope you enjoyed this week's lesson, a basic comparison of the ESP 
polyphonic synthesizer in Logic with the subtractive synth, monophonic synth that we had in the class. I really enjoyed my time in, in the class, and I hope you did too. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.